Hello guys and you're welcome back. So let's go ahead and continue tweaking our uh, vortex shader. So uh, what I like to do is to have the ability to actually change the color of our uh, vortex and to do that we're simply uh, we've done that a lot in our course but simply we're just going to create a color node and I'll just do that within the uh, within the blackboard and I'll create a color and I'll just call that uh, vortex color now that I'm naming everything Vortex, it looks kind of boring, but uh, let's just go ahead. So I'll switch this to, uh, I'll just set it to uh, a uh, kind of like, you know, uh, pale, kind of whitish color like that, just so we can uh, have that. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and just drag that into our scene. And uh, one quick way to combine two things is either to use a uh, blend node or a multiply or an add node. So uh, for this time around, let's go ahead and uh, let me set a blend because I'll show you why I like using the blend. Because the blend uh, coming from Photoshop, because I'm an artist, so coming from Photoshop, I always use the uh, blend modes. So it's actually going to add some extra effect. And if we really want to enjoy this, let's go ahead and change our mode for our color to HDR. Uh, that's like a high dynamic range uh, color. So what we're going to do right now is to take the uh, the output of our uh, multiply and then uh, we'll just pass that into our uh, blend node. So I uh, will take the color and just uh, take that into the base one and then we'll take our output of our blend and just pass that in. And uh, we're not actually seeing that. And uh, so we can actually see that. Let me go ahead and just change this to a darker value. So we can actually see that uh, color. All right, so we can go ahead and change it and we could just place this and uh, this is going to use any kind of effect you want. So one issue I'm seeing right now, we're using this uh, blend mode, is that uh, it's taking account into the pixels. So uh, that's something I won't get with a multiply node. We can go ahead and change these, each of these uh, color nodes to look for a uh, color mode that works for us. So that's one thing. You can try uh, various effects if you want. It's totally awesome. That's totally fine. It's totally up to you what you want and what kind of you know effect you want to achieve. Right, so that's uh, awesome. Also, let's bump this up so it, can, it looks like you know some kind of like fiery and uh, you know kind of dragon-like uh, effect, which is great. So uh, what we're also going to do is to pass this into our. Uh, so let's take our output, and I don't like the way I'm setting this up. It's let me just drag everything a bit backwards a bit. Yeah, so I could just drag this and just drop it down. Say here, um, sometimes I actually uh, just place these things in a not nice way. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and just take that and let's drag this to our emission. So we can actually see that uh, effect right now in our emission. And we can even combine that with an alpha, but I think that's like uh, that's overkill if I want to do that. So uh, I'll just set it to emission and I'll just leave it like that. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. That's totally fine. But uh, what I mean is we can actually go ahead and swap this like that. So we can actually have that effect. But you know, it depends on what you want to achieve. All right. So all right, guys, so uh, there's plenty much more I'd like to do, but I just want to make this and keep it extremely simple. So I'm just going to stop right here, but if I, you can go ahead and, you know, add more nodes and create more effects. But I just want to leave this as simple as I can and then add more complexity in different versions later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is to save our asset and let's just get back into Unity. And now that we have our asset and it's our vortex asset, Let's go ahead and jump back to our uh, vortex quad in our scene and let's go to our materials. So let's create a vortex material. So I'll just call that uh, vortex underscore M-A-T-T just like that. So now we have this vortex mat. What we're left to do is to just click on that and let's go to our shader.
and then all shaders currently in this uh, version of shader graph for uh, unity uh, 2019.9f so we'll just go to our uh, well we have a lot of shaders here and we call this our vortex so we're gonna have that uh, applied uh, that vortex shader sorry not applied yet and to apply that let's go ahead and just uh, drag our vortex material to our vortex game object in our scene and just like that we can see we have the uh, vortex right now we can see the vortex and if we go to our game view okay we need to set up our camera so let's go ahead and go to our main camera and our main camera is seeing our vortex and it looks kind of uh, weird and squiggly so what I want to do is just set the camera to our view like that so I'll just go to a uh, click on main camera go to game object and I'm just going to go to uh, align with view so our camera is going to be seeing uh, this so let's go ahead and play it so we can test it out in the scene So right now it's a uh, super kind of large so let's go ahead and just uh, get out of that view and then click on our main camera and I think what we need to do is to drag the Z axis not sorry about that guys I think it's a uh, Y yeah good so we could just drag that so we can uh, see our uh, preview right here and once it's clipped to our preview let me just go ahead and close this tab and also close this tab so we can actually see what we are going to be getting right here and for our background let's set it to a dark background so we can see our vortex in action so let's go ahead and play our vortex again and so this is what we are actually uh, getting so we can actually uh, see these uh, dark ghosts in a kind of like portal thing well you know you get the drill so what we can do is to actually customize our uh, material so let's go ahead and save this and uh, get back to our uh, vortex and I'll just go ahead and switch this to uh, our default layout so we can actually see the uh, material we want so I'll just click on this and I'll click on layout and I'm gonna set it back to default layout so this will bring us back to our normal layout and we can go to our game view which is still going to show us this and what we want to do is to get back to our uh, let's go to our assets where we have our packages and select our uh, material so we call that vortex material and we can begin to play around with some of these uh, settings so we can see how you know our material is going to uh, look like so I'm just gonna click this and I'll get rid of the grid just so uh, we can have a nice view and let's begin to change things so I'm going to try to change the uh, vortex strength and I'm going to set it to a value of say uh, like that also I'm going to use to set the speed and uh, we'll leave the color uh, just the way the color is so let's go ahead and see that that's extremely large so let's go ahead and just dial this down so we can actually reduce that uh, activity and just keep it at that what we could also do is to actually add some uh, simple custom nodes but like I said we just want to keep this really uh, simple so that's it guys that's how you can create this kind of like vortex looking uh, simple vortex looking shader effect and we'll move on in our to our next lesson where we'll animate some lightning over a uh, an imported game object a game sprite thank you very much guys and i'll see you in the next lesson